How's everybody doing? In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Dunlop Flow standard one and a half millimeter pick. So if you can tell, they consider this to be a standard shape for a flow pick, but it's not quite a standard shape pick. So for comparison, here's kind of a standard shape pick and here is the flow pick. It's a little bit closer to the shape of a Jazz 3, which I actually prefer because I use a Jazz 3. One on top of the other, they are extremely similar. The flow pick is just a little bit wider as it approaches the tip. Back to back, there they are. The nice thing about the flow picks is that they have a pretty good bevel on them and they are, whatever the material is, I don't know if flow is considered the material actually or just the shape, but it's a really hard plastic, which is what I like about the Ultex of the Jazz 3 XL. And also, similar to that, it has a raised grip. And to me, a pick being really thick and having a raised grip makes a ton of difference. Like when you start sweating with it, you don't want it to slide around in your finger and thumb.
I've actually spent a bit of time playing with one of these picks exclusively. In fact, probably a couple of them I've gone through out of this pack. And I do like them a lot. I like the raised grip. I like the thickness. They don't have any give. They feel very much like Ultex. They're not quite as sanded feeling maybe, and the grip doesn't stick out very far compared to the grip of the Jazz 3. So despite this being a 1.5 millimeter thickness, it actually feels pretty much the same as a Jazz 3 1.38. And I think it comes down to the grip, if not just the sandedness feeling of this, the Jazz 3 that makes it feel thicker than it actually is. As far as preference goes, I still prefer the Jazz 3 XL. That's why I use these all the time now and I've kind of gone away from the Dunlop Flow 1.5. But the Flow 1.5, I think they're more expensive, don't quote me on that, than a Jazz 3. But also, the reason why I don't use the Flow as much anymore is because it does come to a little bit more of a rounded angle as it approaches the tip, which makes it a little bit harder to do things like... versus something like the Jazz 3 which has a little bit of a harsher angle toward the tip, but it makes it easier for things like... It just feels more natural, it has more attack. I feel like I'm out of tune. But anyway, that has been my review of the Dunlop Flow 1.5mm standard pick. It's a pretty good pick. I like them. I like the smaller batch ones where they come in a smaller pack like this, even if they might be more expensive per pick. They do have a very high quality feel. However, I found they're so close to the Jazz 3 XL and I still prefer the, the actual point angle on the Jazz 3. So that's why I don't actually use these as my main pick, although I can totally understand if you're somebody who likes a standard shape pick more than a Jazz shape, give this a try because this is really, really smooth, hence the name Flow, I'm thinking. The bevels feel really good on it, like a Jazz 3, but it doesn't have quite the attack. If you like this video, don't forget to share it and subscribe. Maybe check out some of my previous pick reviews, and I will see you guys next time.